Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason and I'll be bringing you today's episode. As always, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. I want to give a couple quick little informational things. First, to all the uh, fans that ask us about being able to tip the channel to uh, show your appreciation and help us out. We still have the uh, buy us a coffee function. I uh, really appreciate all those coffees you guys have bought us. As you know, all three of us live off coffee. Just check the description of the video down below for a link to that if you are interested. But also, YouTube has now added a new function, a thanks button, right at the bottom of our videos. So if you appreciate what we're doing or appreciate the video we put out, please hit that thanks button. Drop us a little bit. And uh, if not, no worries. We appreciate all you guys watching. Second, we have our live streams coming up. They're going to be every single week on Tuesdays at either 1 or 2 o'clock, probably 2 o'clock. Some days I pick up the kid, I may do it at 1, but I'll let you guys know in advance. And uh, once a month, we will be doing a charity one. So this first one is going to be towards charity. After that will be our regular live streams. If they go well, we'll continue to keep them on YouTube. If not, we'll shift them over to our patrons uh, for most of them. We'll still do the occasional one on YouTube. And with that in mind, also, please join us on our join us as one of our patrons. Just check again the description of the video down below for some links to that. And uh, we have exclusive videos that we put up there all the time. Uh, things we don't put on the regular channel, including the entire How to Deal Crafts course. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into today's video. So for today's video... It is a strategy that was sent to us by one of our fans via email. Unfortunately, I don't have my phone on me, so I can't tell you who it was, but I appreciate you sending it to us. It's actually the first strategy that's been sent to us in quite some time, and we obviously prefer to uh, shoot videos based on what you guys send us. We love doing that. So please, send us some more videos. Really appreciate it. And uh, this one is called The Coin Pusher, and it's... It's kind of cool. It's, it's, I, I didn't follow the link. He sent a link with some more details on it. He just gave a very bare bones, and I'm going to take the bare bones and extrapolate the rest from it. But uh, it's interesting. It's interesting, and it's kind of fun. I, 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 I honestly kind of like it. So regardless of the point, it, it doesn't matter what the point is. It's a 60 action bet to start with. Six and eight, and six and eight only. Now, if one of these hits, the player throws in a dollar, right? Because it pays 36. And that 36 now becomes, if a six were to roll, now becomes the six, while this $30 six slides over to the five. Now, if a five were to roll, that pays 42, okay? $30 five pays 42, now that we have it. So from here, go ahead and collect that, slide this down, and go right there. As you, as you can see how it pushes, that would be the coin, why well, it's called the coin pusher. And uh, what, it doesn't say where, I'm sure on the link it does, <clears throat> excuse me if I start coughing, I'm still fighting that cold. It doesn't say where the player collects, but my guess is going to collect when things slide off of the four. Now, I might even modify this a little bit. Right here, when this rolled, Pays 42 instead of, <coughs> excuse me, instead of sliding into the five, <coughs> I would slide it this way. Slide onto the six, slide the six down to the five, and slide the five down to the four. That way you're still coming in here and pushing down. And it also puts your bigger bets over here. Now, as something else hits, such as that 42, that 42 pays 49. This is one where probably collect these three, slide the 40 on down, slide the 35 down, collect that, and put the, oh no, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to do. Instead of collecting three, you would have collected one there. Slide everything on, no, I must have messed something up there. Let me double check that again. So, we were at 42 here. We were at 30 here. And no. We were 36 here. That's where we were. Okay. We were 36 there. So let me try that again. Because I must I, I feel like I messed something up there. So 42 pays 49. Let's cut that out first. 
42 pays 49. So we want to keep 48 of it. Okay? So this would collect to us, along with that dollar, slide this 35 over. This 42, we'd slide out 40. So yeah, we do collect $3. I did mess that up. I don't know where I made the mistake. And go 48 here. And I would say we probably collect as we're pulling down off of the four. So as more sixes roll, it's just like a lot of other strategies where you want the same number to roll multiple times. But in this case, we're actually not collecting off of that number. We're kind of collecting the remnants further down as the coins push it off the table. I like it because it keep, keeps building up these bets bigger and bigger. Because as one of these hits, you get paid bigger and bigger and it slides down. So you're, you're still banking on your, your primary numbers, your biggest hitters, the six and eight, the ones that are most likely to hit, that have the highest probability of hitting. But then you're still making money off the rest and making better and better and better money the longer the roll goes. This is one that I could actually see on a long roll starting to make some pretty good money. It's kind of like the press one unit type of thing. Um, in a way, because you are, you are pressing your, your bets, but you're also kind of sliding things around, which means things get paid better and better and better. I mean, you know, look at it this way. 35 right there gets paid 58, correct? I mean, I know it's correct. I don't know why I'm asking you guys. It gets paid 58. So if we're doing our little slide, <clears throat> let's say we were to slide 60 from here. Now, we had 48 sitting here, so we would probably want to slide 45 down. Then we would slide this 40 over and collect that 30. So we're going to collect 36. And all of our bets got bigger again. Everything got bigger again, and the collections get bigger and bigger and bigger as we go. So this is definitely one that, like a lot of strategies, if the roll keeps going, is going to make increasingly larger amounts of money, which is kind of the whole point behind a strategy. The best strategies make more money the longer the roll goes. Otherwise, as we have talked in the past, there is no win condition and the strategy and the roll will never make money. We see that all the time. People catch a 40 minute roll and they don't color up because they didn't make enough. So they keep playing, they give back what little bit they made because their strategy doesn't have a winning condition. This one actually does. It really does have a winning condition. If, if the same number were to roll, say, six or seven times, I mean, let's look at, uh, let's look at the six or eight. Okay, so we start this way, right? So we'll slide all this out of the way, except for that dollar that we'll start with to throw in. And let's just look what, what can happen if, say, seven eights roll. And seven eights do, is, is pretty rare, but it's kind of the entire reason people are playing craps. Yeah, these things are rare. They only happen, you know, once every couple of hours. On, on a six or eight, for sure, six hits definitely happens once every couple of hours. Um, and uh, could happen with some more frequency. If you've, if you've ever played on a repeater side bet table, you would know that the six and eight hitting six times happens a lot more than people think it does. Now, the, um, the rest of the numbers, of course, have a sliding scale down. So we'll look at seven hits, seven hits on the eight. Let's see what happens. So they throw in their dollar, and they slide down. Okay, now this is not even going to count any hits over here that would be making you money, just hits over here. So next, that's 42. That's the second hit. Okay, so the second hit is going to make 42. So we slide, slide, and stack. Next one's going to make 49. We can actually pay it. No, we can't. We're going to pay it 49. This is going to slide off to the player. This will slide down, collect that dollar. This will slide over, collect those two dollars, and that dollar. We go to a 48. Now, let's look. The third hit. So a 48 is going to pay 56, right? So 56, typically you go to 54 here. Slide down. So we're going to slide 50 down. Slide that down right there and collect. So that's three hits. Hit number four. That's going to pay, 54 is going to pay $63. So you've got your $63 right there. Most likely, go to 66. You're already at 50, so nothing's really changing too crazy there. You were at 54. Maybe you throw in 
Maybe you go ahead and make it 55 just so it increases slightly. And this slid down and got collected. Hit number five. This pays 77. Now you want to be proper, so you'll go to 78. Slide down your 66. Slide this down. Collect right there. That's five hits. Hit number six. 77 pays 91. You're going to go to 90. Slide, slide. Collect. Collect that as well. And hit number seven. Pays 105. Okay? 105. Now, this is one where you can either step back slightly or add a little bit. In this case, I'd probably add a little bit. Instead of going down to 102, I'm probably going to go ahead and make it 108. Slide, slide, and collect. So, seven hits, not counting any hits in here that may have occurred, because there should have been hits in here as well that would have collected. So, you can figure you're probably collecting quite a bit there or growing your bets even higher before that eight hits. Either way, Right here you have $276, $276. That's actually not bad considering that you would probably add a couple hundred dollars more minimum to your, to your bets, to your payouts, based on anything hitting in here. Plus anything that may have hit on your other numbers as those were also doing the same coin push down. So this is definitely the kind of strategy where you catch that, uh, that oddball 15 to 30 minute roll that has a bunch of repeaters that you're going to make. Six, seven, eight hundred thousand or more dollars. Definitely very, very, very possible. It's also the kind of strategy where at a certain point you might look at it and swap your strategy around. You might say, you know what, just go ahead and give me 260 across. And then just mid press from there or something along those lines. So, hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at least just plain fun. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you very much for sending it to us. We will catch you next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video and as promised a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again we want to uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible and then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately it ate up almost all of our cash um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, SinCityLivingLV at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, 
but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I would I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see if uh, see if you can answer answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to. I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area. Please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions. Please email me and uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching, and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.